Welcome back. This is part two of building a container house. Uh, in this one, you'll see us moving the containers down the fire break. Uh, this little clip here is the first one going down. Uh, it was very slow going. It was uh, quite a narrow. Um, it's quite a narrow. Well, it's a decent sized fire break, um, but with the width of the sea container and the added width of the wheels on the outside. It was sort of in the bush pretty much the whole way down. Uh, you can see in this clip here, uh, you can sort of make out the uh, normal car tire tracks in the middle and the tire tracks of the container right on the outside edge. It was like that the whole way down. Uh, so it was a lot of uh, me driving slowly, <laughs> listening to the radio and dad walking along behind, uh, sort of guiding when I needed to turn and uh, yeah, what I needed to avoid really. Uh, so it was pretty much steered from the, the rear. Uh, but it all worked out pretty good. We, I thought there was a tree uh, we needed to take out in the corner up the top, but ended up clearing it quite easily. Um, yeah, and then down the bottom, you'll see how we slide the containers into position and get everything put together. Roughly, Halfway down with the first container. All's going well. Big camber issues. Uh, but we gotta fix that next time. It's just the bolt pulling through. It hasn't got any worse. We've got marks on it. Um, so far so good. Just doing 100 meters at a time. Checking everything. Uh, yeah, probably halfway down now. And then we've got the rest We've got a bit of a tight squeeze through here. We're pretty much the width of the track, which is, you, know, you see that tire down there right in the bank. Um, I knew it was gonna be wide, but this is wide. <laughs> anyway, keep trucking. See how we go. Nearly there. Swing it wide, well, start pulling it back in, get it in close to this corner just here. Um, so we can then hook it. Well, I don't know how it's gonna go with that tree, that bank, but we need to pull it right over close. Hug this track through there and then get the car down there. And then probably just roll the back around once we get the wheels off. We'll see how that all goes. Um, there's a big split in the tire on the other side, but that leveler thing hasn't leveled itself out. So all the weight's on that one wheel. But um, yeah, we'll see how we go. This tow bar rig is working spot on. Nothing's bent or broken, even though I haven't got the best welds. Uh, it's all working as it should. No deflection anywhere, we are only crawling along, it's definitely not a high speed situation, but um, for the limited measurements I had, it's come up an absolute treat and I am stoked.
couple of photos of that first container all in position. Uh, I can see it up against the bank there. And uh, it was far enough over. We just left it where it was here, but disconnected from the car. Um, the next part of the job was cutting the sidewalls out um, of the, the middle of the, the two 40 footers. Uh, this would be a much more difficult task when they're joined together. Uh, so it was better to do it now whilst I could drag the sheets out uh, through the big openings. I used the, uh, the plasma cutter um, for cutting these side sheets out. It didn't have to be a perfect cut. Uh, it was just getting them out of the way. They can be neatened up later on when I get to that stage. I also um, left about 100 mil roughly at the top. Um, this added a little bit of rigidity to the the, the roof, I suppose. Um, but I mean, the the I beam that comes later on fix that up for us. Um, but it also gives me something to hang or to to drop down from to support the the internal ceiling in the middle instead of spanning the full width of the container. two containers of the sides cut out before we pulled them together. Had to leave the, the center sheet there above the wheels just for a bit of support. It was, it was doing, doing all sorts of bendy things. Uh, so I decided to leave that in. It's just a small piece to take out afterwards. Uh, and then you can see now, um, we've lowered the container down onto a section of train track uh, that we had in the property. We had a bit of oil left over so We've oiled up that bit of train track just to reduce the friction, I suppose. And then we're winching it over with a car winch. I uh, had to do it in stages. The, the train track was only so long. So we did a little bit, lifted it up, um, pulled the train track through and reset and repeat.
We needed to uh, drag the container lengthways to uh, line them both up. It was about 40 mil difference, I think it was. Um, so we had to do a double line pull with the, the winch um, off a tree out of frame. Um, it didn't really want to go at first. It's a bit of obviously trying to drag four and a bit tons. Uh, it doesn't really like it, so it took a bit of maneuvering, but we got there in the end and got it all lined up.
40 foot, 20 foot, all in position. Just gotta level them up. Obviously, it's a bit skew with, but we're there. This will be our uh, deck space through here. And a big triple bifold door here. And uh, that's the girl's bedroom, that one. Yeah, and be, be sorted.